Today we're going to have a look at how to make these interbottle fairings that fit on tornado coupled brackets. The problem with making the fairing out of a single bottle is that generally the bottles aren't long enough for the fairing so we need to splice two together. The bottles you should use should have straight walls and often they'll have this little ridge which is important which makes the uh, splicing a lot easier. You need to get two of these bottles and cut the bottom and the top off. Just use a Stanley knife or a rough cut. Same on the other side. And then you need to trim the bottom off. And when you cut the top, leave about 5 millimeters uh, off the ridge. And do that for both bottles. Next we need to make an alignment jig. Uh, we just use a can that's about the same diameter as the bottles and a manila folder gets taped around the outside of that and just use some tape. Here's one I've prepared earlier that's been taped up and ready to go. Next put the first sleeve on with the ridge at the top and same for the second one so that they're able to slide into one another like this. Next, get your PL Premium glue and run a fairly thin bead around the top sleeve. When you finish the bead, just simply slide the top sleeve into the bottom one and you can clean up the edges with a skewer stick. Next, get some electrical tape and run it over the seam. And that just helps keep it in place while the glue dries. Cut it off. And once you're finished, just slide it off and you can let it dry. The last step is to cut it to the right length. Now this will depend uh, exactly on the type of bottles you're using. The easiest way we found is put it over the rocket and mark where the bottom is and do the same for the other side. Now screw the rockets together until the marks line up and then you use a ruler to figure out how long it is and then transfer that onto the sleeve. Uh, next we need to draw a mark all the way around. An easy way of doing that is just get a piece of paper Line it up. That gives you a nice parallel line around the mark. The next step is to trim it. Uh, we like to trim it just a little bit off the line um, to make sure that we don't cut too much off. And the next step is to try it. So unscrew your rocket. See how it fits. If it's too tight still, trim it again until you get just... You, you want the sleeve to be fairly tight so it helps keep the rocket aligned. And just keep trimming and testing until you get the right size.
just like that.